you ain't seen me, right? <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Celine from IamHandmade.com and we're um, helped by Titch hello. on the videos. Hi. Say hello Titchy. Hello Titchy. And that was my dear dear husband again who's absolutely gone off his rocker. Um, the soap today um, I'm going to be cutting is uh, called Buttered uh, Pecan Maple or Maple Pecan. Um, and it's a new one I, tr I bought um, about a week ago and the minute I read the name I had to buy it um, and we opened the bottle when it came and it was divine just smelled amazing um, and I knew that when I soaked it it was going to turn the soap really dark brown and as you can see I am completely correct it is the darkest brown soap I've ever seen um, almost black actually in some areas um, but it smells amazing. It didn't smell so good as the first day or so because I put a fair bit of goat's milk in it. So it had that sort of goat's milky smell that at the beginning milk soaps get. Um, but that's gone off now and it's definitely maple. There's actually, it seems to be a slight coffee mm. um, fragrance behind it. Although that's not in the description. So I don't know if it's just just smells like that but to my nose there's a very faint coffee um, aroma anyway so once Titch has stopped ogling the glitter again I have <laughs> I'm going to take the paper off now this I made and Titch was off gallivanting at um, the Irish Film and Television Awards on Sunday Saturday Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday and so um, she couldn't video it for me the making of video like we like to do um, so I just stayed home and did it myself I didn't see any movie stars but she did I did indeedy which movie stars did you see? Michael Fassbender um, Chris O'Dowd who was in Bridesmaids uh, Brendan Gleeson Brenda Fricker Emmett Scanlon from Hollyoaks, if any British people watch it. Uh, the President, Michael D. Higgins. And the President of Ireland. Yeah. Now, where can you go to a public event in any other country and see the President there? Just <laughs> there, you know, along with everybody. And I bet you wouldn't happen in America, would And it? Dana Delaney, which a lot of you will probably know from Desperate Housewives, she played Catherine. So it was pretty cool meeting her too. And lots of other minor stars from Soaps in Ireland. So yeah, it was pretty cool. So if you want to see some, are they on your take my ditch? <laughs> They're not, no, because I didn't take them. <laughs> okay. I was no. going to say, if you want to see some, some photos, um, check out her web, uh, her Facebook page. But she doesn't have them on her Facebook page. That's clever. Why didn't you link them or tag I them might, or something? I might put some on my Taken by Titch page, but I technically didn't take them. Malcolm took them for me as he's tall and he was standing behind me taking them. Um, yeah, which is so, the famous ones. Though. Yeah, I might put the ones that I'm with people in it and the autographs and that. So. Okay, enough about you. Enough about me, yes. And your always about you, Yes, yes always yes, about yes. me. They're the rules of the house. Yeah, I know. Anyway, that. so... Um, what I was saying, this is made in a hanger swirl sort of effect. <laughs> I have no clue what it's going to look like. Um, basically, because I knew that the um, base soap would go this really dark brown. I obviously didn't colour that at all. There's no colour in that. And I divided it into three. So it was the base soap with no colour. The second jug had the base soap with a small amount of titanium dioxide. Because I was thinking of like... Um, a sort of a caramel colour as opposed to dark brown and then I did one with a fair bit of titanium dioxide so a white so there should be before we cut it uh, the dark brown a caramelly brown and white and then I so I so I, I uh, poured the main colours and then the caramel and the white I poured from up high really down should so it should be fairly down low into the soap and then I got my hanger and I did a hanger swirl and this time instead of putting it down and up and down and up which is what I did last time I put it down and sort of moved it like that like a train <laughs> 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 
I was like, <laughs> cow, but this is like a train. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so let's have a see what'll happen. Yes, a train in honor of me getting a train after the iftas to yes, Limerick. Dear, yes, it. all about me, really is. Oh, so boils down to. Okay, about right. Malcolm's just come in again, and I think we have to stop the video for some reason. Okay, stop. Okay, um, Malcolm just needs to turn the microwave on, so don't worry about that. He's not in the background. He's not really here. And ignore any animal sounds that may be happening. So he tightened up all the wires on my cutter for me just now. They were very out of tune. <laughs> oh wow! Now, that's different to what I thought. Okay, it's not going to stay yellow inside. The, that yellow is going to go as dark as the dark brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then this, the white will probably stay white, and then this is more creamy, which will hopefully stay more creamy. So the darker bit will go brown. So this bit here yeah. is the the natural the raw soap. It's the um not raw, it's the no colour soap. Okay. So that'll go that dark brown. Yeah. So it'll be much darker um when it's done i forgot the earrings to get but it's like pink sugar the same thing happens, exactly you know? exactly it's the exact same thing so we'll have a look see at the swirls now i'm hoping i put enough um i put enough of the see the bottom has not been aired fully yet uh, so i'm hoping i put enough of the titanium dioxide to really give it a colour difference, but the swirls are pretty funky, aren't they? They are. They're very pretty. pretty. They're nice. Yeah, and the soap is lovely. It is. Come off the top. It reminds me of, um, or it makes me think of that baked cheesecake thing. Don't know why. Don't know if that is actually brown on the outside, but it just reminds me of that and smells. Oh, sweet. the base of it. Ba or something oh, like that. Baked I don't cheesecake. Know. Yeah, it just Sorry. smells of warmth and sweetness. Oh, it's a lovely smell. It's a lovely, lovely fragrance. Yeah, now, whether people will choose to wash this is another matter. Yeah. Um, I know bakery scents are big in America. Um, maybe not so big here. I don't know. But to be honest, I was going to buy it anyway. So if nobody buys it, I'm using it. <laughs> so this here is probably going to stay white, I would say. And then there's more a point creamy colour. See the difference with that yeah. and that. Mm -hmm. I'd say this will be light, light brown or caramel, and this will be real dark. Yeah. So I think what we should do is come back to this soap um, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And or even was it a few days afterwards the pink sugar went? The pink sugar, over? I'd say, took about a week, a week in it? total. I think to, to go fully, uh, fully brown but I suspect this will be an even darker brown now the only problem with brown soaps is apart from the fact some people may not like brown which is fine is that they may um, discolor your washcloth or something so just don't use your your best washcloth for this one but you know What's the matter if it smells really good? It does smell Now it does have a touch of the slight ammonia about it. Wait, smell titch? Yeah, it's which nice. is the ghost, goat's milk yeah, thing. Yeah, still. The, it's but it has that sweetness and yeah. that sort of coffiness that's behind it. Warm. Yeah. So I think that's going to come through a lot more as it cures out. Mm. Um, that ammonia thing is again from the goat's milk. Always is does that I don't know why it's the sugars or something reacting like the swirls are lovely on this they are very I think they're really good and I'm pretty happy with that I'm just taking the, the very just the very edge off um just to tidy it up a bit I don't really bevel them as such you can't resist tidying them that's beautiful <laughs> isn't it the swirl is yeah. just 
And I think this is going to pop out much more when it's much darker. Yeah. Let's just smooth it down a bit. I do like them. I love the feel of them once they're smoothed. They look very well on camera too when they're smooth actually. Make a mess. Sorry, moving too fast again. It's Amanda. okay. But I think that is going to look really nice. Yeah. It's been it's a really nice swirl anyway. It oh is. Did you? But if you think, if you look at it, say that yellow is going to become as dark brown as that edge. Yeah. And then you can see how how much the white and the caramel are gonna pop out. It's a very caramel cake sort of colour, all right. It's lovely. Very very nice. Now, I like it, and I love the colour. It's a very nice move. Can you get more of the? The it's it's just lovely. When we smelt it out of the bottle, we were like, oh my god, I want to mm. drink that. That's why half the bottle's gone. <laughs> and you see this like. So that sort of circular swirling effect really works. It's really mm. nice. I have to say, of all your techniques, I do like the 4101 the best. Yeah, and I, I did actually quite like the technique you did for the black raspberry and vanilla as well. Kind of, it's almost kind of swirly throughout, kind of going crossways. Yeah. I like that one very much too, but the full funnel I thought was pretty cool. I like that, but you can't do it with everything, and I found out today. Oh yeah. That yeah, you can't do it with everything, because I made two soaps today. Um, one of them set up on me quite quickly, and the other one went like a freaking train. I gotta tell you. <laughs> Crazy. Um, just went like nuts like a train on me and uh, I was scurrying to try and make this tiny, got a tiny bit brown there scurrying to try and make it um, into the mould and put some colour in that and stuff now it's in the mould and it does have colour but what it's going to look like your guess is as good as mine I used my uh, smoosh technique which is if anybody doesn't know the swirls are lovely they are very nice the smoosh technique involves getting a big spoon or teaspoon actually is better getting a teaspoon and putting your 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 soap that's gone crazy on you uh, into the mold and then smooshing it down with a teaspoon and trying to make it into something before it completely sets up to be soap in a bucket Smooshing. <laughs> smooshing. Uh, I'm sure every soaper has done the smoosh technique once, at least once in their lifetime. Um, and I think I overcolored it because it's rather vibrant. But it's pretty. It is pretty. But. And they also have names. They do. What are the names, Titch? Um, Perfect Storm and Seduction. Seduction. Perfect Storm is like a marine fragrance sort of lemony notes at the very top and then sea salt and ozone and all those really nice marine fragrance kind of I'd say very unisex but also I mean men are going to go for it anyway it's a lovely so it is lovely well, well yeah, we don't actually know it <laughs> we haven't it yet it. <laughs> yeah, it smells really good those smells are lovely lovely they are very cool I it might have been more defined if I'd just done white and the brown, but the we'll have a look. Is nice. Yeah, once they, I do like to do three because they say lots of good things come in three, and it kind of seems right. I don't think I think two always lack something, and four can be a bit too too much. Too crowded. Yeah. Plus with an untested fragrance oil like this was um, you don't want to you don't want too many colours to try and manage actually it was a really nice fragrance and um, the white I should say has no fragrance in it, no fragrance oil in it 
so that's why it's going to stay white. The, the caramel does have fragrance oil but with titanium dioxide and then the brown is not no colour um, and low and fragrance oil. Um, so that's our buttered maple pecan or buttered pecan maple, I can't remember which order I chose for the label. Um, and uh, I think we'll do another very quick sort of update when we're doing another soap just once this is browned off completely and um, just to see how those swirls have popped out so far I'm really happy with them uh, and I hope they stay nicely defined this will be ready I would say the third week of March ish actually no uh, 20 something of March I can't remember the date I think 26th, whatever the, the, the last Monday in March is. Um, and if you're interested, I can take pre-orders. There's no problem with that. Uh, just uh, jump on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash soapburstar. Uh, or drop me an email to info at iamhandmade.com. There's no problem. And I uh, hope you like this very short video, really. Um, and uh, introducing buttered maple pecan um, from Celine at I Am Handmade. Thank you, Titch, for doing the video. You're very welcome. And if you want to have a look at Titch's photos, um, jump on to Facebook at facebook.com forward slash taken by Titch. And don't squash Anthem when you've jumped there now. No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> don't. Don't break your legs or anything. <laughs> Uh, and hope you like this and um, seeing as I made two soaps uh, today um, I'm sure we'll be videoing the cutting of those in two days time yeah all right thanks Titi all right bye bye, -ya. bye -ya.